Combining science fiction action with crude humour, a vast mythology and just the tiniest bit of heart, Rick and Morty was an instant hit when it debuted on Adult Swim in late 2013. The creation of animator and voice actor Justin Roiland and community creator Dan Harmon. The animated series follows the adventures of a somewhat reprehensible, usually drunk scientist and his kind of dumb grandson as they travel through space, time and alternate dimensions messing up history, the universe and their own lives in the process. Here's a look at the untold truth of Rick and Morty. Doc and Marty The whole thing started when Roiland made an animated short called The Real Animated Adventures of Doc and Marty, a very thinly veiled, sexually explicit parody of Back to the Future. If that sounds insane, that's because it is. Roiland's cartoons were screened as part of a weekly film showcase in Los Angeles run by Harmon. When Harmon got temporarily fired from Community, he approached Roiland about adapting Doc and Marty into a recurring series that toned down some of the more explicit sexual content. Doc became Rick, Marty became Morty, and Bird Person became whatever he is. It has been a challenging mating season for bird person. Then it's time to get your beak wet tonight, playa. Go have some fun out there, bird, bird, bird person. Gas giant. I have a, <coughs> a new catchphrase. I need your help, Morty. I mean, we got we got to get get the hell out of here and go take care of business. <coughs> it's important. Come on, Morty. Rick's endless burping is definitely gross, and it's definitely real. Royland, who voices both Rick and Morty, says that during voiceover recording, he'll read through Rick's lines once and mark down where he wants to insert the burps later. With the help of a bunch of Miller 64 and water, Royland goes back and re-records his dialogue, this time with belches in their proper place. He says the whole process is disgusting. You can't just add a sci-fi word to a car word and hope it means something. That's not the only all-natural part of the process. The off-the-cuff feel to much of the dialogue is because Roiland engages in a process of improvisation during recording. After running Rick's lines, Roiland does a read-through for Morty, and then does a take of the scenes as both characters, letting himself riff. The end result is a collage of scripted and improvised lines that are animated around, resulting in some pretty amazingly weird and occasionally drunk stuff. Instagram Innovation Hundreds of shows have debuted on the internet, but Rick and Morty is the first to ever premiere an entire episode on Instagram. Due to Instagram's video limitation of 15 seconds, that meant the 2014 episode, Rick's D Minutes, had to be cut up into 109 separate videos. Building on its unique success, the show team also did something else nobody had done on Instagram before use it as a game platform. Rigstarverse launched in the summer of 2015. Players must follow tags and other clues to bounce through more than 80 Instagram accounts set up and dedicated exclusively to the game. More than 129,000 people took part in Rigstarverse, which involved 11 explorable planets and more than a thousand individual images, and tied into the Season 2 cliffhanger, and even offered players the opportunity to contribute to Season 3 by naming a weird alien blob. The Couch Gag Oh my god, Morty, what did you do? You killed oh the Simpsons, god. Morty! No, no. Oh, oh, no, oh god, look at the baby system. one! Oh my god, Morty! In 2016, the Rick and Morty team put together one of the most memorable Simpsons couch gags in recent history. Justin Roiland had heard that the Simpsons creator, Matt Groening, was a fan of his show, so he asked Groening to provide the commentary track on the DVD release of the first season of Rick and Morty. Groening agreed and brought along longtime Simpsons writer and producer, Al Jean, who asked Roiland to do the time-traveling couch bit and surprisingly allowing him to brutally murder Springfield's first family. Not only that, but the couch gag also doubled as a Futurama crossover, and given the fact that Rick and Morty takes place in a vast multiverse, it's not surprising that this isn't the show's only crossover. Gravity Falls 
Though they come from very different places and have very different audiences, the connection between Gravity Falls and Rick and Morty are too plentiful to ignore. Gravity Falls creator Alex Hirsch has done voice work on Rick and Morty, and Roiland has returned the favor on Hirsch's show. That's amazing! <gasps> are you from the future or something? Uh, no! Who, who told you that? Memory wipe! This is a baby wipe. Not too surprising since they used to share an office at the Disney Channel, but it goes deeper. For example, Gravity Falls' evil pyramid-shaped dream demon Bill Cipher briefly appeared in Rick and Morty. As Hirsch told Entertainment Weekly, it's a dream come true, saying, For some reason, the universe has blessed us with our mad wishes, and it occurred to us, let's start doing things nobody else does that maybe you're not supposed to do. We started putting little Easter eggs in our shows that sort of connected the two. Our motivation for that is primarily to freak people out and blow their minds. One of the most mind-blowing Easter eggs occurs when, spoiler alert, items sucked into a portal in Gravity Falls pop out through a portal in Rick and Morty. Rick's a mystery. As vast and complicated as the Rick and Morty mythos has become, Roiland and Harmon never want to give too much information about the history of Rick. Harmon told the AV Club, We're careful about delving into Rick's backstory, because when we do, we don't want there to be any shocking surprises. Like Yoda and Tommy Wiseau, Rick's real story may never be revealed. And that's just one of the show's many mysteries. The plot thickens. The show's creative staff decided they wanted to have a secret about the show's world that only they would know. They would never explicitly reveal their secret during the run of Rick and Morty, but they did want to place clues throughout. Because fans are weirdly obsessive, someone managed to figure out the secret and posted it on Reddit. Roiland confirmed that someone figured it out, but didn't identify the secret. Based on the posts related to these theories and Roiland's reaction, fans have narrowed down the most likely possibilities. Could Rick be an older version of Morty? Or is he one of the many versions of Morty? Is Rick aware that he's a fictional character? See you next week, everybody! Or maybe Rick's flask isn't filled with booze, but instead the powerful Mega Seeds. You gotta put these seeds inside your butt! In my butt? Come on, Morty! Please, Morty! You have to do it, Morty! You know, the ones that temporarily make you smart, then kind of cripple you for a while. Oh, jeez! Oh. I'm sorry, Morty. It's a bummer. In reality, you're as dumb as they come. But the most important question of all, will there ever be another season of Community? Never. Never! Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.